Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Welcome to Coffee Tequila, guys. My name is Zach. My name is Alistair. And we... What? And I would like to <laughs> let everybody know... Oh, yeah. The, that last video, we got responses, y'all. So um, people were not happy. And you know what I found more... <laughs> More, because uh, I figured the student debt thing was going to be um, our big hot button topic that people were yeah. going to not be too happy about our responses for. Um, but it was your moon landing conspiracy theory that people didn't like. People were not happy about that, baby. They were disappointed. In yeah, you. yeah, <laughs> yeah. They really didn't like it. And I just want to put it out there that <laughs> I'm like not too serious about it. It's yeah, kind of like a joke. And um, so yeah. I, I, it's I a like it's he, he he does this moon landing conspiracy theory is like a joke all the time to kind of push my buttons, but you're also not a hundred percent convinced. That we went to I'm the not. Moon. So he's like half a conspiracy theorist. You can still rake him over the coals for it. If you like I'm to. not like you know betting on it. You know I'm not putting all my time into this conspiracy. I, don't, theory. I just don't think he cares all that much. And so sometimes you got to you got to pick up Alistair's dry humor, guys. You just <laughs> have to, like, you'll have to learn it. Um. So we are drinking Austin East Siders Pineapple Cider. Um, I got him this because he loves the pineapple flavored stuff. Pumpkin spice coffee as well. So it's like a combination coffee tequila day today. It's, it's kind of like, because uh, this feels very summery. Yeah. And this is fall. Mm -hmm. So, and right now we're filming on the 1st of September. Mm. So it's kind of a transition. Yeah. Oh, and as always, this video is kind of like being sponsored by Helix Sleep. And we will let you know a little bit more about them a little bit later. But speaking of like our transition period, we are kind of, I put out our, I finally put out our moving vlog from March. Um, I put that out today, the uh, Thursday, today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Okay, I put that out today. So that's over on the main channel. We finally got a main channel video, but we are moving. We finally got the keys to the house. Um, no more three hundred dollar uh, storage unit <laughs> cost. No more. How much is it? They're raising the rent here. It's not that much. Like hundred dollars. They're, they're raising it a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Um. In New York City, they're raising it like a thousand. A couple thousand. Yeah. In, so in, in, in I'm Austin, okay with hundred. A couple hundred dollars. They're doing the same thing. Oh, so. ridiculous. But so we have the keys to the new house. The new house is like I'm so in love. I am. I am. I know you're not super happy about it, but I am stoked. The the studio space that we're going to be moving into is massive. It is so fucking big. And I, I'm really, we, we've like designed out our new set and how it's going to look and we're going to build some, some stuff for it. And I'm real excited to get working on that. And I'm actually, I am happy about the new house. I'm, I, I just, it isn't my preferred location <laughs> is what I would say. So last Friday we did a uh, 100 sex question quiz. sex quiz, which was, it went over really well. People seemed to really like it. And I had the damnedest time trying to find a, a gay sex quiz. I did you find one? Every, I searched every sort of like combination of keywords, like gay sex quiz, gay sex trivia, gay sex um, terminology quiz, uh, just every sort of like little bit of uh, keywords I and, and mix and match around on Google. And I, I couldn't find like shit. I did find one quiz that had questions and it's more a terminology quiz than it is um, sort of like a statistic quiz. You know, the last one was like, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like the last like one was what super. Percentage of it was men super and women sex ed, this? right? Yeah, and I I actually really liked that. And so I really wanted one of those for uh, like a gay version. But the closest thing I could find is it's much more focused on terminology. So we're going to be taking that. However, there are no answers. <laughs> It just gave us the questions. There are no answers, so we're gonna be we're gonna be. Um, did you make this quiz? I did not. I had copy pasted it um, from the internet, but we're gonna have to look up on Google the answers just to kind of get them. You guys won't oh, see us be, doing all that, but that might be kind of yeah. Fun. It'll. <laughs> so we'll just have to keep score, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna bring up a little Safari website page. Yeah. How do you? It was so disappointing though because there's tons of like heterosexual or yeah, just just sex ed quizzes, but we don't really have any any LGBTQ sex ed quizzes. There they, are a few lesbian. They ones. They don't want the gays educated. Yeah, there are a few lesbian ones, but we want to focus on the peen a little bit. Um, I don't know. I was and, and there's a lot of most of the gay quizzes that I found are uh, taking the. Are you gay quiz? How do you know if you're gay quiz or if how, you're looking how up gay are, an, you are you gay quiz? could be gay or bisexual you could be yeah or pansexual you never know um but a lot of them are like uh, how gay are you and it's just the buzzfeed types types of quizzes um this coffee is getting to me i feel jittery now do you oh. yeah i don't know if i do i've been drinking coffee all day though oh, my goodness it's been a long day i've been right in front of the computer the entire day um yeah i, I don't drink coffee that much anymore mm. it's funny because this is coffee and tequila 
Did they? You took sex ed in, in school. No. In Mexico, y'all don't do that? Or uh, I guess you went to high school. To, oh, you went, I went to a Baptist, you went to Baptist school. high school. They're not, yeah. they're, they said sex is not a thing that you do. They said sex? Because I was going to ask you, did they have any like LGBT sex ed no. questions if you, in if your you sex part ed of the course? So if you don't have a sex ed community, you were not part of the San Marcos Baptist Catholic did you guys get community. Kicked out? Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah, you've told me that. I mean, I didn't get kicked out. Are, is your name still on the cup over there? Or the the plaque? Have I they figured out that you're a homosexual? They they've probably already burned it out. Oh, your name is probably taken. Well, we got to go get your name from the brick. From the what? Oh, the from brick. the brick. Yeah. yeah, we got to go steal the brick before they chiseled your name out. Um, we we had sex ed. I don't remember. It was the same teacher that we said so we had sex ed mixed with just uh, just health in general. So like eating habits and things like that. You know, I remember they made us watch like Super Size Me like 50 times that semester um, and take a quiz on that. But we had sex ed mixed in with that class. But we never had any like gay questions or anything about like anal sex or anything like that. This was when I took sex ed. I was in high school in uh, Alabama at that time. So <laughs> they weren't adding any, any gay stuff. I mean, you do have the internet and stuff, but I know like my first gay sex experiences. Oh, goodness. I... How I did, didn't you? know what I was doing. How old were you? Like, I don't know, like 16, 17? Oh, yeah, that was young. I don't know that you had to, like, use lube and stuff like that. Um, like, I, Did you use spit or anything? Or, yeah. Okay. So you I can use spit, I guess. Which I, I guess wasn't too comfortable for the other participant. Ah. But I don't know. I don't know. I, you kind of have to figure stuff out. Like, I don't even know what... Um, poppers were until like I think we got married. I didn't know like anything. You really the yeah. entire or I guess uh, which hmm. is not something that you like see places. You know you, you have to bottoming. actually like were you bottoming? Did you ever no no I at never, all like in your in your whore days? Nope. Hmm. Not once. So I guess you didn't really need to know what poppers were then. You I never took not, any yeah. like as a party drug or anything. I see people take them out at clubs just as like a party kind of favor. I didn't. I don't do drugs. I do not like poppers. I don't like the the feeling of them. It like rushes to my head and gives me like a massive headache. I feel like a womp 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 in my head whenever I've taken them. Um, I my sex my first uh, time having gay sex was uh, well, there's two right. You have <laughs> different different experiences. Um, you have your top and bottom experience. My top was fun. Um, I didn't really know anything about it, so but I did have lube. I remember I had Astroglide I got from Walmart. Um, and that one was fine, whatever. Um, and then my first time bottoming was I like knew nothing, and I was so freaked out, and I was so paranoid that I was gonna bottom, and that my my entrance slot was going to stay that size, um, whatever size it, it was, and <laughs> I was just I was terrified, and I was like, well. I wonder if they're leaking, if I, if it stays that size, am I going to leak? Is this like a permanent thing? Is this like, I don't know. We need more education on gay sex and, and kind of dispelling well, it's, it's some, some myths. Straight people and, can have yeah. the same sex. Um, yeah, yeah, but this is, these are kind of like things that the gay community has to like encounter a little bit more often, right? Yeah. So, But also, gay people don't always have anal sex. Sometimes anal sex is not part of, you know, somebody's it's just sex is sex and everybody's got to figure out what's best for them let's talk about our sponsor for today's episode helix sleep we have a king size helix midnight lux mattress and a queen size helix lux midnight <laughs> midnight mattress uh both of them are fantastic both of them are good for jumping on the bed and and doing fun stuff like chess and uh like chess and, and, and connect four and twister you know um <laughs> it's really our board game bed. area our board game area. Helix is a premium mattress and a box company that makes beds to fit your unique sleep style. Helix knows that everybody is different and everybody has their own unique needs and so they've made a sleep quiz that'll match you with your perfect mattress based on your needs. I am an all over sleeper. Alistair is more of a side sleeper. He likes a firm mattress. I like, uh, you know, more medium. We took the quiz together and we got the Midnight Mattress. And one of the best parts about Helix is that they deliver the mattress right to your door for free. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. And if it makes you nervous to buy something online that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than 3 months to make sure that you absolutely love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. 
If you or somebody you knows in the market for a new mattress and you think that Helix sounds right for you, you can go to helixsleep.com slash tequila where you can get up to $200 off of your mattress and two free pillows. We're going to be taking oh, the uh, gay, I don't even know if I can call it a gay sex quiz. We're going to call it a gay sex quiz anyway. It's more like a terminology quiz and there's not too many questions, so we're going to go through it pretty quick, probably. Okay. Am I going to be Googling these things? Yes. So you're going to Google. Do you have Google open? I'm opening it Okay. Right you're going to have to Google all of the answers. Question number one. What is cottaging? Uh, don't look it up yet. Look it up after we've kind of guessed it. Um, okay. You didn't throw up, did he? No. Sounds like it. Cottaging. Um, you, you know, I think I know what it is. Is that like overlapping? Uh, I feel it like with the foreskin? it's when... Okay, like that, that. that definitely went into something. It goes into something, about. yes, but it's like it's like two pains and the foreskin of one of them goes over the other one, right? It's cottaging. I was going to guess it's maybe uh, having sex while listening to Folklore. Ah, Taylor Swift's Folklore. I think that that sounds good. Um, mm-hmm. Taylor Swift made, made uh, <laughs> music for cottaging. Uh, the action of engaging in homosexual acts in a public bathroom. Yeah, anonymous gay sex in a public bathroom. Cottaging. I did not. I would never have known it. Never have known it. I wonder if that's like British or something. Cottaging. Cottaging. Okay. Uh, what is cruising? Cruising what is happens at what you're doing is, at the gym, apparently. Um. So just going and looking for hookups, right? Like right, a sexual partner. Uh, uh, semi-public strangers, right? Sex. Do you have to be strangers to go cruising? I think you're just like going and looking for a sexual partner. I don't know if it has to necessarily be anonymous. I think typically it is. Have you ever tried cruising? No. I've never tried cruising, but I feel like going on Grinder in a college town is pretty much like cruising. Uh, Cruising is the action of sailing about in an area without a precise destination. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Checking. Okay. Checking out someone they may already be interested in. Uh, You got to find the gay version, man. What is gay cruising? A modern gay's guide. Uh, uh, what is it? Roaming areas looking for a sexual partner. Found it. Okay. You, you're too slow. I'm not slow, really good at this. You no, know, he's too slow. Okay. What is a fag hag? A fag hag? Yes. Um, a woman who hangs out with gay men? Right? Yes. Somebody who primarily uh, surrounds themselves with gay men, right? Yeah. I yeah, think so. I would think so. What is a 100 footer? I feel like, is that an exaggerated? Maybe like a, a, it's like an exaggerated term for, for, for a big dick, for a big dick or like how much you can shoot maybe. Oh, could you shoot a hundred feet? Oh, that's a, okay. I, I'm going to guess that one. A person who's obviously gay or lesbian. <laughs> Someone who you, you can, can see tell. them a hundred feet away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a sex thing. So I like. thought so. Well, I mean, I guess maybe if you're cruising, you got to know what a hundred footer is, right? Yeah. You got to be able to point them out. Okay. This next one is. Did I look like a hundred footer to that guy at the gym the other night? He saw me I, from a hundred feet away. He said that one. At least a 20 footer. That 20 he, footer. He had to peer in several times. There you go. Um, um, uh, what term describes an older effeminate gay man? Isn't it queen? Yes. Queen? Queen? Right? No. The answer is auntie. I've never heard anybody say auntie before. I wonder if that's an outdated term. How did one used to ask if another man was gay? I do know this one. This is my this is my namesake for my, my horror podcast, My Bloody Judy. You would go up to somebody and say, are you a friend of Judy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like you're good Judy or, yeah, all of that sort of terminology. Judy Garland was <laughs> adopted by the gays. I don't know if she wanted to be, but she was. She was. <laughs> uh, what is a beard? A beard is when you have a opposite sex partner mm-hmm. um, that is making you seem heterosexual. Yeah, to hide your gay. identity, right? Yeah. Yeah, to hide whether you're gay or not. What is rimming? Rimming? I'm making Alistair blush now. He's a little uncomfortable with this guy. He's getting these ones are getting a little too. Uh, rimming is the <laughs> act Say of, it, baby. of performing um, oral to <laughs> anal um, um, activities. Ass to mouth. <laughs> activities. <laughs> I don't think I need to look that up. Ass to mouth. <laughs> what is CBT? CBT, like weed. 
That's what I was thinking at first. No, C- CBD oil. Um, okay, CBT. let me see. Uh, what it has to it stands C- for something? C would, right. my, would probably be cock, right? Cock bondage. B- could be bondage. Cock bondage. Trifecta. Testicles. Cock bondage testicles. Yes. Yes. I'm going to go with that. What is CBT? You're into cock, balls, and testicles. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Okay. Um, I got <laughs> cock and ball torture. Oh, <laughs> We're okay. Completely okay. different tests here, guys. Yeah, I guess it's not trifecta. <laughs> We've got a psychology major and, uh, <laughs> and a whore. Uh, what is FF? Finger fun? Finger fun. Something like that. Finger fun? Finger. Uh, fisting? Do you think it's fisting? Fisting fun. Fisting? Fisting fun. Fisting. 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 Fisting Fisting fuck. Fisting. Fisting. It's fisting. I feel like it is. Is. Fisting thims. Fist fucking. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Okay. We're going to say we got that right. What is puppy play? Have you done some FF, Zachary? No. <laughs> also, just keep in mind that we're not kink shaming. We're not yucking anybody's yum. But there are certain things that I just could, I don't think I can get my mind around the idea of fisting. I it goes back to my like first experience bottoming, and I was too scared that it was going to stay open. I know the shit would stay open if I was fisted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what, says, moving on, guys. The, what is the puppy Queen of play? Genovia is not happy with these questions. What is puppy play? Um, is it with the puppy masks, those dog masks, yeah, like the leather dog masks, it's like, and you kind of like dress up as dogs, and they have tails too. You've seen yeah, that? Like they have the, uh, I think they're like plugs. Not gonna lie, it's it, it's a little titillating. A little titillating. Yes, never tried it myself, but I have seen uh, that type of porn pop up, and I have. Taken again during through those uh, suggested videos, and I, it is kind of hot. We'll get you a mask. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, yeah. Consensual adult role play where participants dress up and embody dogs. There you go. Um. I don't know if I want to pretend like I'm a dog though, or like I wouldn't want you to pretend like you're a dog. Just like. I like the gear, I think. The gear? The maybe, gear. Maybe a leash? Yeah, but yeah. like the gear. But I don't walk, want, you, I don't you, want you to act like a dog, because then that's weird. Because then we have Brando, and I'm like, yeah, that's I'm like are, you, that's little... are you taking your cues from him? That's weird. Yeah. I don't want you to do that. Okay. Um, what are water sports? Uh, water sports yes. are... I feel like we had a question about that the other day, too. Oh, yeah. Question. Also, whenever I think of water sports, I think of... Uh, horrible i think it's horrible bosses where they accidentally hire uh a guy who does water sports when they were trying to hire I don't a killer remember that yeah it was it's, i don't it's know if funny. i've seen horrible bosses that's Have not anchorman not? i think i'm thinking of anchorman no i don't think i've seen horrible bosses that's really good hmm. well i don't know he's got water sports in so, it. yeah that's the first time i saw like uh Water sports. Water sports is not something I can get into. Again, like the last episode, I said I can't. I can't do anything with like bodily functions. So is this like a quiz? That. Quiz about what you're into, Zachary? Yes, I'm going through it. I'm like maybe I could do cottaging. You know, little folklore. Little. Wait, what little, was cottaging again? Um, bathrooms. Public oh, bathrooms. Okay. The the idea of public sex is super um, intriguing to me. I I've, I've done that. I've gotten off on that. I like. We've tried. I'm not. W- no. Nope. Without not d- without uh, your military, yeah, <laughs> I, I have not done that. <laughs> um, anytime I have tried that, it is I've been super into it. I like the the sort of like could be caught aspect of it. It's a little titillating. Um, okay, so water sports, yeah, sex, get it. sexual activity in which urine is involved, also called urophilia. Urophilia. That's a weird word. I don't like that one. Let's just go with water sports. Yeah, and then hanky code. What is the hanky oh. code? So this is with the history lesson kind of um, question that I was I was talking about. Is I feel like we're going to be about getting, to get into history. I know like back in the eighties or like things that I've seen back in the eighties or like you know movies and stuff that takes place back there. Um, they would have uh, handkerchiefs, right? And are you looking it up before you guess? I want you to no, guess first. No, I'm already. I I, I know what it is. Where okay. you would uh, put a hanky of a certain color mm-hmm. in your back pocket. Yeah, and that would indicate to people that one you were gay. And what you were into. 
I yes, um, your your kind of like interests and what you're into. Like I know that yellow is one of them because uh, there's a show called Rescue Me. This is the first time I ever heard of the handkerchief code. Um, there's a show called Rescue Me, and the guy is like taking you know you know how the firefighters take those calendar pictures. Yeah. Um, and he has like a yellow handkerchief in the back. And so all the gay guys start coming up to him throughout the whole episode because he's in the calendar with the handkerchief in his back pocket, a uh, yellow handkerchief, meaning he's into water sports. And so ah. this was like a code back in the day. I wonder if people still do it now, but it was so a code I, back in the day to uh, to, to like, like kind of let people know. Yeah. So I'm looking at the code right here. So oh, if it's red uh, in, I guess. You're well, be less... careful. We have we have questions that ask what color they are. What, oh, what do they, we? What that means. Okay, yeah. never mind. A way to identify one sexual position, fetish, or preference by wearing a handkerchief in a specific color and on either I wonder if the left or right side of the body to indicate top or bottom. I wonder if people still do that in some places. I would wonder. I would think it would, it's a nice little thing. I kind of like that idea. I, I, I feel like if you're like at like Fire Island or maybe a, a gay cruise or something like that where you... Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel, I, I think I feel it's like on the gay shorthand. cruise, I think you can just go, go up to people and ask. <laughs> I'm assuming everybody on the gay cruise is gay, unless, uh, you know, Paula Dean ends up on the gay cruise, and she's like, what the hell am I doing here? I... Yeah, we've never been on a gay cruise. We've been on, we've only been on the straight ones. I might be too intimidated to go on a gay cruise. You think I have so? to be honest, yeah. By what? I don't know. All the dick. All the, the, all the hankies? buff guys. There's, you know there's like some... Some hundred footers. Um, some hundred footers. <laughs> no, you know there's some like six five guys with like huge muscles going to be like walking around that place, you know, uh, ruling the roost. And I don't know. I, I'm five nine guys. I'm not <laughs> competing with yeah, that. We're, we're, we're pretty average height. And are we cruising on the gay cruise? Would we go cruising? Are we looking for others? I'd I'd say no comment. Otherwise, why are we there? You know. Okay. Um, so. Uh, what does it mean when a man displays a yellow hanky in his back pocket? Okay, didn't we say... Water sports. Water sports? Yes, I'm already confident with that one. Um, pale yellow hanky. <laughs> what does uh, the pale yellow hanky mean? What if you get wh- it wrong? Well hydrated water sports. What if I think a yellow is pale, but it turns into... It, it's But other people take it as yellow. Do it. You accidentally bleach your hanky? <laughs> <laughs> Or you spill something on the hanky? A pale yellow hanky is spits. Yeah, so how do I know if I'm mm. confusing my water sports with my spitting? Yeah, like wh- where's the line between spitting and, and water sports? It's like, what if, do I open my mouth and I'm expecting to spit and get something else because I got the wrong color <laughs> handkerchief on? We got to get a little bit more distinguishable with that. Um, white hanky. White hanky. If you have the color thing up, just, just bring that up. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to look at it. So white hanky. Okay. If it's on your left side, it means you're a self-masturbator. If it's on your right side, it means that you masturbate others. Mm. Okay. So just Jackie off then. Yeah. Okay. Red and white stripe, Hanky. Uh, red and white stripe? Mm-hmm. You're a shaver. A shaver? And if it's So then the, if you move it to the other side, are you... You're shavy. Shaved. Hmm. Oh, I guess that could be a fetish, couldn't it? I've seen some good porn about like shaving and when they shave each other. It's pretty. It's it's pretty erotic. Yeah, Zach is going to attach his, his favorite stuff. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna co-sign a couple of these. Um, what are some other ones? We don't have any more questions for okay. the colors, but I, I'm kind of curious now. Okay, so this do one, they have like a magenta? Mm, they have a burgundy. A burgundy. What is burgundy? So oh, that's for burgundy. It means you're into razor blades. Yeah. Hmm. Pink. Sure, this isn't the prison code. Pink means you like orgies. Okay. And then, so I guess if it's on the left side, you like orgies. If it's on the right side, it means you're not into orgies. That's very confusing to me. <laughs> uh, not into. So you have to. Just don't wear it. That's that, that could be. That could have been a game all on its own. Is guessing the right side and the left side. Yeah, I'd, I I would forget. So, uh, you, they probably had people just like holding the little list. What is brown? A brown. Where is a brown? I'm going to pull the list up. Brown here. is, oh, it's a shitter. Is it? And if it's on the right side, it's a shitty. If it's beige, uh, it means that you're into any, anything but shitting. And <laughs> like, where's the line between beige and brown? And then if you were on the right side, it means that, uh, Nothing but rimming. Um, brown with white stripe 
is if you wear it on the on the left, it's likes Latino bottoms. So if you wear it on the right, what is it? Does not or likes Latino tops? Yes. Um. Oh, that is a good, good guessing game. And oh my gosh, they really have races on here. Um, they have a black Latino Asian. Wow. Um. Uh. Okay. So, what do you think uh, the black color stands for? Oh, I can see it here. Is it black velvet or just black? Just black. It says heavy S and M top, or a heavy S and M bottom. Okay. Um. Okay. Blue medium. <laughs> so you have to get the exact shade of these colors. Blue right. medium. <laughs> that one's a lot more in depth. I'm looking at this like old. Uh, this one says. Oh, I have mine looks Eagle. like this. Mine says blue medium. If you're war- wearing it on the left, you're a cop. If you're wearing it on the right, you're a cop sucker. A cop sucker. Mm. Okay, green lime. Ooh, uh, tequila? No, dines off tricks. If you wear it on the left, it has in parentheses food so that you know it's it's. Oh, okay, it's okay. Food. Um, and if you wear it on the right, uh, dinner plate, you will buy dinner. So I am a Don's Off Tricks. If you want to take me to dinner, I'm available. I like the Olive Garden and uh, P.F. Chang's and Corner Bakery. Okay. We'll go get you something to eat after this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to start doing around the house is I'm going to wear a green lime, <laughs> a lime green handkerchief. And uh, if you see it sticking out of my back pocket, then you're like, I'll, that- t- I'll take that boy to dinner. That means I need to take you to dinner. Take me, that means I'm hungry, baby. So peach means looking for chicken. Mosquito netting. They get real creative here. Uh, mosquito netting, outdoor sex top, or an outdoor sex bottom. They also have dirty jock strap, which is you wear a dirty a, a dirty jock. Um, and the other one is you like the dirty jocks. Um, you can do a Kleenex. You can do keys in front pocket. Keys, oh, my goodness. What's keys in front but pocket? I have my keys in my front pocket all dumb. Uh, keys in back pocket. Uh, so the keys in your front pocket mean you have a car. <laughs> that you have a car? <laughs> I guess so. You either have a car or you're looking for a ride. Oh, this one's you, baby. What? Olive drab. Your military top or your military bottom. Oh, depending on which side? Yes. Orphan boy looking for daddy. Um, Is that really one? Yeah, green hunter. You're either daddy or your orphan boy <sighs> looking for oh my. hunter. Um, wow, all of these browns. Like, you got to be careful <laughs> wearing these browns because just brown itself it means that you like the. the but shit, they all I'm the looking at. Am I um, colorblind? But, because it looks the same to me. So we've got brown corduroy, we've got brown satin, brown lace, just regular brown. Um, yeah, because if you wear brown lace, that just means that you want uh, if it's on the left side uncut, right side mm-hmm. likes uncut. Yeah. Um, but you really don't want to confuse those two browns. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of these are real, real, um, real close. They're too close for comfort. You yeah. might get something you don't want. Yeah, I might be trying to go for Stick dinner. Stick to those solid colors. I try to go for dinner, and I end up with the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on to the rest of our questions because we're almost at the end here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach this, this uh, handkerchief code. That's pretty interesting, actually. Um, okay, what is docking? <gasps> That's, that's not what, cottaging. That's, that's, what, that's what you thought cottaging yes, was. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's when your foreskin goes over your the, your partner's member. Um, I don't even have to look that one up. What is frauding? I'm pretty sure frauding is when... Frauding, just, docking, and cottaging all sound the exact same. Well, I, I think frauding is, is when uh, you kind of masturbate off each other. And, you know, like... Like putting, rubbing? Yeah. Yeah, rubbing, holding, or masturbating two penises together to achieve sexual pleasure. That's our last question, too. And then, as always, we hope everybody um, practices safe sex. Yes, always practice safe sex. If you're into any sort of fetish or anything like that, more power to you. Just, you know, always remember consent. It's very important. Communicate. Um, Be safe. Communicate. Yeah, communicate what you're what you like, what, um, Mm -hmm. ask them what they like so that you and your partner can have a fun time. If you're just a little bit too scared of communicating, you know, some people are nervous, some people are a little shy. We've got a handkerchief code for you. Yep. You can just wear a handkerchief. Look up. There you go. I didn't see any, I didn't see any puppy play on there. Oh my gosh, no. Do we have a puppy play color? Uh, And I want to know if people still do handkerchiefs. Is that still a thing? Yeah. 
a what sailor a- or looking for salty semen. Salty if you're semen. light blue with a white stripe. I could see you wearing a red one and just getting really freaked out. Because red is your color, you know? But it's like, fisting or a fist, a fisty or a fister. Yeah. Yeah, no puppy play. Oh, how am I going to let them know? Yeah, that you might be into it. What if some people, some people probably just wear a bunch of different ones. What if they just wear like 10 at once? They're like, I'm just, I, I'm here for a good time. Anything, anything goes. Well, I think there's actually an anything goes color. Um, Do you think people wear the same color in both pockets to indicate either or? That's a good question. I know there's a lot of different like scenarios with this thing. I think that we could actually do an entire episode just I mean, probably on this. Could. We should do the history of like these sorts of things and how people kind of would communicate with each other back in the day, you know? How they got away with it. Because this is how you had to communicate, right? You had to like let each other know because, I mean, if you accidentally went up to a cop who was straight and, you know, asked him, hey, are you into pony play? You'd probably be like, lock him up forever. He's a pony. I don't have a pony. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. Bronies. The bronies. <laughs> That's a whole rabbit hole. That's how, real how, dark. How, I'm, I'm what what color would you one. use for brony? Like pink, purple, and like a little bit of glitter sparkle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are out of time, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this kind of gay sex quiz. I feel like we got about the same answers right. I, I forgot to keep track, but if anybody else did, let us know what we got. Um, if, as always, it, you can really help us out by liking the episode, commenting down below. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple Music, make sure to leave us a five-star review. That really helps us out a lot. And uh, we will see you probably Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Yeah, it's a long weekend for us. Yeah, we're going to Vegas. So, yep. All right, guys, we will see you next time.